Let's start by making a can to make our or to tank to rinse our larger parts in. So we'll cut out the side of a tank, then we'll snip the corners so we can bend the edges down so we don't cut ourselves on the edges. And then cut a piece of screen to fit in the bottom. The screen will be folded so it holds the screen slightly off the bottom. And that way your, your bigger parts don't roll around in the sludge that collects in the bottom of the can. You need a decent cleaning kit. You're going to need several, if not all, these tools eventually. So get yourself a good cleaning kit. Uh, here's kind of the tools we'll use to clean this spray gun. We have the tank, of course, that we made. Um, some brushes from the cleaning kit. This front end brush here is real important. You'll, uh, you'll see how we use that later. Um, we have uh, a cheap acid brushes. We use them for everything from seam sealer to gun cleaning to anything we need a brush for. So uh, uh, get yourself some acid brushes. They're cheap. Now we even put two together to get down in the cup sometimes to uh, clean the deep cup out. Uh, pipe cleaners. Um, oh, the uh, squeeze bottle with solvent in it is very important. Get a, a solvent proof squeeze bottle and as you clean the gun you can rinse it real easily without using a lot of material. Gun lube. When you're reassembling the gun you need gun lube. So uh, it's important to have that. Get a small container for cleaning your smaller parts. A lot of times you don't need the big container. You, you can just use a small cup, put your parts in it, and clean them one at a time from your smaller cup. Now let's start with our bigger parts. We'll take the cup and lid off the cup and, uh, and clean that up. The cup, a lot of, or the uh, lid for the cup, a lot of times will have ridges in it. So you want to brush those real clean because if the paint dries in there and you go to put it back on the cup, you can drop particles down into your paint. So get that, those ridges good and clean and then the entire lid good and clean. In the cup, shoot a little thinner in it. Let the thinner collect in the bottom of the cup like at an angle so you have that to work with when you're cleaning the cup. Then take take my brushes that I put two together and uh, uh, reach down and grab that thinner and brush it up on the sides of the cup to break up any paint that could be in there. Now on that hole in the bottom of the cup, the tubing, you use a tubing brush, get down in there and clean that out real good. Get that clean, give it a rinse. Rinse the top of the cup, the inside of the cup. Give it a wipe. And then shoot some thinner on the outside of the cup so that uh, you can make it, uh, use a paper towel and make it nice and clean. Cover the pan with something so that your thinner doesn't all evaporate and keep the smell out of the room. Alright, let's disassemble our gun. We'll start with the air cap. And we can put that in our smaller container for smaller parts. And then we'll take the fluid tip off. That'll also go in the container with the uh, small parts. This particular gun has a baffle in it. That can go in, pull the needle out, give the needle a quick clean up job. It's, it's the easiest part of the gun to clean. Wipe it off. And this particular gun has a gasket in it. We're going to pull that out.
usually pays to keep a couple of extra gaskets and grommets around so that if you break one or uh, one starts to leak you can uh, replace it all right now we're going to clean our air cap just give it a little bit of thinner to loosen things up then brush it off brush off the face and then rinse it again the air cap has uh, little holes next to the center hole that are going to need some attention so wipe it good and clean and then you're going to use this probe to clean these little holes out <laughs> 